Hey there, everybody. Welcome to another THW News and Rumors Rundown for the NHL. My name is Jim Parsons. I'm here with TheHockeyRaiders.com. We're going to go rapid fire through some of the big rumors headed towards the NHL draft with the draft, with free agency, with some players and their respective teams, uh, pending UFAs, all that stuff. Uh, quick update prior to the draft on Thursday, which will be tomorrow. Uh, so let's get right into it. If you want to follow me on Twitter, you can do so at the Hockey Raider, uh, thehockeyraiders.com. Go to facebook.com slash thehockeyraiders. Uh, check out the YouTube channel for everything else. So let's get right into it. Uh, Philip Forsberg. Lots of talks between the forward and the Nashville Predators. Uh, they believe this is probably going to get done. It's just a matter of crossing some T's and dotting some I's, but their priority is to get Forsberg under contract. And David Poyle, GM, has said that they are much closer on a deal, an eight-year deal, than they were when they last tabled the offer. It's just a matter of a few little things that they got to figure out. Uh, Evander Kane is not closer on signing any sort of a deal with the Edmonton Oilers. They're still waiting, obviously, for the grievance filed with the San Jose Sharks. That is not going to be happening until after free agency on July 13th. Ken Holland did talk about the fact that he has had multiple conversations with Dan Milstein, Evander Kane's agent. They're not that close, but they're having lots of talks. Uh, so we'll see where this all winds up. But right now, we don't really know what the status of Evander Kane is for free agency. He's probably frustrated. The Oilers are frustrated. NHL is just waiting for somebody to probably settle this thing, which I don't see happening. Uh, Jesse Pugliarvi, lots of talks surrounding him. Potentially, he could be traded. But Ken Holland has said he will take his time to make this deal if he does, in fact, make it. It could take all summer. So it's one of those things where it's not going to be happening necessarily before the draft on Thursday. He's not trading the player for a pick, and if he does, it's going to be flipping it right away for a player that he can use. Uh, so there's talk about Pugliarvi potentially wanting out of Edmonton and the Oilers uh, seeing him as only a fit on the third line, uh, but doesn't mean it's going to be traded right away before the draft. Uh, interesting story, though, coming out of Edmonton. It's that Claude Giroux has potentially pegged the Oilers as a team that he would be interested in joining in free agency should the Evander Kane thing not work out, should they need a forward uh, he is looking and maybe has them in the top five of their potential teams. Uh, he could be testing free agency, and we'll see where he winds up. Some debate about whether or not he wants to go out west, but he has ruled them as a possibility, so it should be very interesting to watch that storyline develop. Uh, JT Miller, lots of talk surrounding him at the NHL draft. Here's one big player that could be moved before the draft uh, because the Vancouver Canucks want to know exactly what's happening with Miller prior to the draft happening. Here's uh, try to figure out the situation. The Rangers, the Capitals, a couple of their teams are rumored to be in on this, but uh, we'll see if JT Miller is moved. Chris Letang, probably going to get done in Pittsburgh. GM Ron Hextel has said that he is close on that. He would be surprised if he didn't get that one done. As far as Evgeny Malkin goes, though, that one's not as close. Uh, they're still working on it, but it doesn't look like that's anything closer to where they were a little while ago. Could Malkin test free agency? Potentially. I've seen the Rangers name pop up here, but I don't know if that's uh, valuable or realistic or not. Not really sure. Jack Campbell is probably leaving Toronto. It sounds like the Toronto Maple Leafs have pivoted and moved in another direction. There's been no contract offer at all tabled there. Uh, they are looking at maybe Marc-Andre Fleury, who we have heard would consider the Toronto Maple Leafs, although he is talking to the Minnesota Wild about a possible extension. Jack Campbell could be on the Oilers' radar. Uh, that's something that we're hearing as well. And Vladimir Tarasenko could be on the move out of St. Louis. He has not rescinded his trade request, unlike Jake DeBrusque, who in Boston did and said he'd be happy to stay with the Bruins. Tarasenko is still looking to be moved, so he could be leaving St. Louis. Uh, they're also maybe possibly shopping, as per Frank Cervelli of Daily Faceoff, Tory Krug. There's a guy who's got a high salary cap, and the Blues want to free up some space. So we'll see what happens with Tarasenko and Tory Krug out of St. Louis. But there's lots more talk surrounding the draft the first round kicks off on thursday night keep it on the hockeyraiders.com for all of the updates with every selection every pick a little bit about the players and then all the latest news and rumors on there as well so enjoy you guys we'll talk to you uh after the draft is over and uh enjoy friday's first round take care everybody